Now, tying some, what would they put, we call uh, a rollover mayfly. It's just the way the wing is tied, it's to help encourage the fly to actually, when the wind catches it, to roll over and act more natural like a, a fly would in a windy day in Ireland in the locks. It's an unusual style fly but it works extremely well. If you ever go into Ireland and you want to fish the locks, then there's mayfly coming off, this is a, is a good pattern. Now this is a Patsy Deary fly as far as I believe and uh, it's, a good, it's a good fly, it's a good pattern because I, I get asked for it quite regular. Now, hook choice is up to yourself. This is a fully mill hook. It's a all-purpose medium size 10. Thread I'm going to be using is the Uni Thread AO and Olive. So yeah, first I'm going to run the wax through. And that will give us a good start. Start at the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run down quite quick to the middle of the hook, centre of the shank. Then come back up, maybe round about two thirds of the way. Went the wing more forward than this this fly. Now these are the small feathers that you get in the, the body of the marlin duck. They're grey in colour uh, and they die extremely well. Sometimes I like to double them up. So if I've got uh, a bigger size fly, it catches the wind a wee bit better. So I've got one on top of the other, which helps to roll it a wee bit better. Now you're looking for a wing length round. We may fly a large, so round about a, around an inch at least. So what I'm going to do is take away these fibres. You tie this on the top and forward, facing over the the eye of the hook. So we come over by a turn, three or four turns down, and then we can trim away. Now on the way down, I'm going to tie in some wire. This is obviously for the it's for colour as well as to protect the body. It's a small wire, you can use extra small, uh, this is the ultra wire, the UTC. Now, it's much easier to tie something than the way down. So, especially, like in this case, the way I'm forming part of the body, I want it to start straight away. So we wind down, I'm just going to come slightly round the bend a wee bit. Now we've got pheasant tail fibre, this is caught pheasant tail. Looking for a good half dozen fibres. Just bring them 90 degrees from the stem of the, the feather and tear it away. That should line them up. We're looking for a wing, or sorry, a tail length, around about an inch or so. About three or four turns there. Now we're going to use the waist ends to form part of the body. So I'm going to come up maybe a couple of mil. The pheasant tail fibre is weak, so the best way to protect it is to wind. Quite wind it the opposite way, so when I wind the rib up through, through the normal way it holds it better. So just looking for three or four tons of the pheasant tail fibre. Just take your time. Again to tie it off we come across the fibre tight onto the hook we turn do the same again and again and then I'm going to just take it up. Just take your time. Make sure you tie it in. Away the waist. Just tidy that up and come back down for the body. Now the body itself is just a natural seals fur. It's got a wee touch of yellow in it. I've just mixed a touch of rabbit dyed yellow. Maybe only two or three percent yellow, but at most of it it's just it's like a light keyhole if you're going to use a, a dubbing. A light keyhole is good. So we slide this up. Then we just form our body, we just, as we wind up, we tighten up some sort of taper. Let's see, about, let's see, there's fine. Check my body, I'm just going to turn it a wee bit, just get a nice shape. You don't have to do this. Anyway, that's us ready to bring our rib up. So obviously we rib the pheasant tail, we come through a couple of times. Rib the body. See the brown there, nice shape. Just take your time. As you come up with the, the wire for the last turn, follow it with the wire, eh, with the thread, sorry. 
and then put a 90 degree bend into the wire and then secure it in. Make sure it's nice and tight and bring the thread back to the point ready to tie in the hackle, sorry, to the, the body. Just bend and break away the wire. Hackles, this is a pro grade grizzle. It's a saddle which I've dyed yellow. It's a long, it's a long feather, you got a few you get at least four flies out of one feather. So bear the stem. Catch this in. Now I want I like the front of the hackle facing myself because I want it to lay towards the back. Uh, it's just a, so it gives it an actual shape and I feel it helps to turn the fly or roll the fly. So you see where we are, just turning the I want, I want to be quite close to the the head. Only one it's like a turn a hackle in front. All the hackle was mainly at the back. So it gets started first. So I'm just going to draw back the fibre here just to start the, the hackle off. And then wind towards the wing. I usually sometimes like to come back up and through to thicken the hackle. Bring it back down towards the wing. Lift. Pull the wing back. Do a turn in front. Full turn all the way around. That'll lift the wing for you and then catch the hackle in. You want a few a good five or six tons of thread to secure in the hackle, trim away. Now any fibre going forward, just draw it back with your fingers and tidy the head up. And then we can put finish. Trim away the thread. Don't worry, these odd wee ends, these are fine. You can take them out if you want, but it's not going to make any difference to the fly. Now, as I say, the wind catches these and blows them flat on their side. Uh, the, that's what they're meant to do. All we have to do now is just a wee touch of varnish onto the head. Draw back the fibre here. And there we are. And that's a, a rollover mayfly. As I say, it's a, an unusual pattern to a lot of people. But it's certainly worth having uh, pulling some of these fibres out. If you're fishing the locks of Ireland and there's a mayfly hatch, it's a pattern you should, I would recommend having in your box. And there's some nice tying methods within the fly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's the rollover mayfly. Mm -hmm.